Hi everyone, it's Jason here, Day of the RC channel. We're back for part three of our comprehensive review for the Radio Link RC6 GS version 2. Okay, first things first is I need to figure out how to put the telemetry cables to fit for this technology of the buggy. As this is an old uh, Mugen Seiki MBX5 and uh, we don't have this connectors right here. Okay, so we will sort that out again in some other part of the of uh, our journey in reviewing this Radiolink RC6 uh, GS uh, version 2. Um, besides that, we were able to download uh, the latest firmware for this one. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I never had a difficult time downloading the the firmware. So we have the latest uh, firmware now. It's version 6.1.4 right now. So with this, it opened the options for the idle up, for example. So I can lock the travel nut right now. Um, the former version, which came with the transmitter, was 1.0. So when I opened it up, I was trying to figure out how come I, can, I could not find the travel lock. So it was an update of the firmware. So um, with the latest update, it gave me this option right now, TH lock, throttle lock. We are at uh, negative 30% uh, right now um, and assign the, the SWA switch button here. So I'll show you that first. And then uh, we go over the gyro later. Okay, so we connect the batteries now. Turn on the buggy. You can see the color. It's locked now. So, okay, so I'm gonna show you how the trowel lock uh, works uh, for gas or, for gas uh, or nitro RCs. We work with, we call them idle lock. So here it goes. This is the trowel servo, look what happens. So I lock it at 30%, so uh, it's easier for me to start it at cold now because it opens up at 30%. Okay, that's it. And then next is the gyro function. So the gyro right now is um, set at 15%. So I'll go down to, I mean, I'll go up to a more sensitive uh, setting, let's say 50%. Just to show it to you guys and then look what happens put this on the side you can see that every time i move the whole the buggy um it self corrects it's almost like a traction control system of of, of, of real cars so yeah and uh but you don't wanna you don't wanna overwork your steering servo so uh, you better choose the the optimum um, percentage setting for your car or your RC. So I'm going to go back to setting it again, back to my setting of 15%. So that's how easy it is to set it. There you go. And um, one more thing. When I was installing this... Uh, um, receiver the r the r7fg there's two antennas so according to the manual you don't wanna you don't want the two antennas together so i routed the first one here the antenna antenna straw mounts and then the other one i routed it out away from the first one here so yeah i'm gonna okay so that's about this that that's about it for this uh part of the video blog and uh, i hope you liked it and uh, i hope you learned something from it and uh, if you like the channel please subscribe and um i'll see you again for part four for this transmitter until then
Ready, set, RC.